Hello and welcome. My name's Leanne. I live in Australia and this is my crafty cupboard. It's filled with all sorts of craft items, lots of inspiration and fun. What will we do today? Let's get started. Today from the crafty cupboard, I've pulled out my little crafty basket to share with you a whip. I've had this basket since I was a teenager, so it's been um, used very, very well and uh, recovered many, many times. So my little needle book. So what I'm working on in here are little quilt as you go hexagons to sew together as a quilt. And it's using a technique that I learnt from a little craft store in Japan and using fabric that I bought in Japan as well. So this is just pink linen and you can see that um, the cherry blossom has been coloured grey and then stitched uh, the outline in chain stitch. So for the chain stitching I'm just using DMC 225 and this colouring has been created by using a textile marking pen. I use the Quilt As You Go 2.5 inch hexagon template set that was designed by Daisy and Grace, the Missouri Star Stilt Quilt Company. To make the hexes. So basically how it works is that I colour the piece first then stitch it. Then cut that piece and some wadding the size of the inner hexagon then the backing fabric is cut using the outer hexagon then you layer it all up Just put in your wadding and your inner hexagon fold it in half once fold it in half again and whip stitch it down to create your uh, little complete quilted hexagon and of course they'll be sewn together eventually one day when I have enough of them so I've got this many so far variation I've started to um, change it up a bit so I've got a beige colored linen still using the gray textile marking pen which I'll show you as soon as I find it in the basket um, and this time I'm using um, silk embroidery thread not that color The one I'm using is from Cascade House, but it's in a more pinky colour, as you can tell. This isn't quite the right match. Ah, oh, there's the uh, fabric marking pen. So it's the... Kuretake Zig Fabric Color. Ah, there's the thread I've 
wrapped it around this just to keep it all together. So that's the colour pink that I'm using on this one. With the this one, the silk thread, I'm just using it as is to chain stitch. And then with the DMC thread, I'm using two strands for that. And these are the ones that are still in progress. This is the uh, colour. So the pink silk thread is colour 3820. In this basket, I've got these gorgeous little pins. Can you see? It's hard to get it to focus, isn't it? I'll go this way. Oh, there we go. Um, in Kyoto, in Japan, there's the most exquisite little needle store where they sell beautifully handmade steel needles. And you can also pick up these cute little pins as well with little animals on. I just love them. So that's one of my whips that lives in my little crafty basket in the crafty cupboard. It's good to keep different projects going, isn't it? Pick them up from time to time and enjoy what you're working on. What are you working on at the moment? Well, I'm going to leave it for there today and uh, hope you have a good day. I'll see you next time.